So welcome back to the channel, folks. So in today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and make a uh, pork tender one in the big green egg. Dogs are trying to steal the spotlight, so they're shedding really bad. It's wonderful. We get hair and pretty much everything we eat. But got the old girl across the way. She likes to be by herself. These dogs are just out of control, so. So I got this pork loin here, had it marinating for about a day and a half, real light marinade on it. But we'll go ahead and pull it out, let it start to warm up, and I'm going to get out the old green egg, fire it up, and we're gonna do a quick smoke, I guess. I mean, it's not really a smoke, but I need to do a butt on it here soon. But we're gonna do this pork loin right now because that's what we're having for dinner. So we got the egg out here. We're gonna do a sear on it and then indirect, so currently have her set up she's going I'm just letting it burn some more I'm trying to get it to have a nice red coal bed I've got a decent one over there just trying to just wait a little bit and then we'll get that grate in there get some heat on it brush it down real quick now, I don't use one of them uh, bristle brushes I use one of these wire rings or metal rings I don't know if it's any better but we need to get a video on this old girl in the last video y'all saw, uh, that sawmill, that feller had a bunch of just random pieces of oak that he had cut. He was cutting uh, one by fours, I think, for a feller. And uh, this was just stuff that had a live edge on it that the guy didn't want. He threw it all in that scrap pile. So I took it because this will make wonderful wood for the smoker. So we'll go ahead and throw some of this in with that pork loin we're about to do. That's why I walked over here was to grab some wood for the pork loin. What do you think? Pork sound good? All right, so I already oiled up the grate, brought the pork loin out. Grill's sitting right around 500 hovering. I got everything maxed out, just ripping. We're gonna go ahead and do a sear on it. Then we'll pull the grate out, pull the meat out first, I guess, and then set it on some full, throw the old plate in, put some full down on it, and then put everything back in and cook it for the remainder of the time. Well, let's go ahead and get after it. Kind of watch out when you open these things. I had it flash up on me once and got my knuckle hairs. That was before I realized you can't just open them sometimes. Mainly on startup. Once you got a bed of coals like that, you're pretty good to do what you please. Okay, so now we got this pork tenderloin here. We're going straight onto the flame. Well, the flame's gone, so we'll go straight on there. So we're going to go ahead and hit it with the sear for a little bit. Uh, I'll probably leave it on here for about, I don't know, six, seven minutes. Just rolling it. We'll go ahead and shut it down. Keep some heat on it real quick. Get this thing seared up, and then I'm going to pull it all back out, drop my plate in, put it back in, and we'll pop that lid back open. Go ahead and flip her around real quick. Oh, she's sticking. It ain't good. It ain't good. No big deal though. We'll just put some marks on it, get the outside a little bit like that, and put our plate in. And I mean, it's not really seared, but I mean, it's got some grill marks on it, so we're cool with that. We're gonna go ahead and let's check this other side, see what we're working with. Pretty bad. Yeah, we'll, we'll get that one side that wasn't too marked up. So let's go ahead and pull this tender line off. Come on in here and take a look at this thing. It's looking good. We're gonna go ahead and pull it off real quick. Set it there. We'll snatch this grate out. Do the old swap here. Ooh, I don't got no gloves on, that's warm. Throw that plate in there. I forgot to put my wood in. We'll snake it down around the sides. Put the grate back in there. Amazing. So we'll go ahead and throw this tenderloin back on there and let her indirect cook until she's finished off. All right, so we're creeping back up on 350. And there we are, just toppled 350. Let's go ahead and dial it back a little bit. Try and hover around 350. This tenderloin is a just shy of two pounds. 
but we'll try and hang out around 350 for maybe 30 minutes and then I'm going to check it and see what we're working with on temps for internal but I don't want to overcook it and I don't want to undercook it so we're shooting for like 145 150 so here we go about 10 minutes into it and we are still hovering right here around 350 and I need to clean out the big green egg I've used it probably I don't know 20 times and I still haven't cleaned it out I just kind of got in there with the old fork here knocked all my coals left to right just so I could have airflow but I cleaned it out the first time when I got it and I saved the charcoal because I'm going to mix it into my planter box on the front porch let me show you that real quick so you've seen the planter box at the old house and I think you might have seen it here too oh yeah when I got the carrots out of it you've seen the garden out back now I've got jalapenos ripping in this thing and green onions green onions go good with pretty much everything pretty sure that's carrot yeah, there's a couple of them hanging out here. So I just left them. We're going to see if they're spicy carrots. By the time I harvest jalapenos, if some carrots are still alive, I ain't going to pull them. We're just going to see what happens with them. And also, I can't stand this straw. Look at that weed right there. I can't stand this stuff. But I planted some sunflowers for Alyssa, and I didn't know I planted that many in one spot. I thought I'd put two per. That's what I was shooting for. But we got some here, 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 here. Right over there, there, right in front of that window, and where else? We got some over here, but I'm pretty sure these were like the cheapest of cheap things that people could buy to put in at a house, but some over here too. Everything's growing. So here I am with all this wood. Like I said, it just has a live edge to it, and that's why the guy didn't want it. I mean, it's beautiful wood, beautiful wood. But I don't, granted, yes, it's all rough cut, but you run this through a planer, you'd have good wood. But we're going to go ahead and fill this box on up with it. That way I can have it closer to the house and out of the elements. So here you have one whole box full of hardwood chunks. The neighbor cut them up for me just for uh, using the trailer. And I was very appreciative of it because then I mean, it saved me from chopping them up, but. So now I got, I told them roughly three inches. I don't care if they're longer or shorter, just eyeball it, just call it a day. That box is jam packed full. I got a little bit in this one too, so not too bad. Now we got some wood for smoking. I think we might have to do a pork butt here soon or maybe a bird, who knows. So let's go ahead and pop this top here and see how we're looking. Man, it looks good. Try this thickest portion right here. See what kind of temp we're at. There's 120. Look at that juice is rolling off of her. 140. Yeah. If we can get 145, it's probably at 145 because this goes uh, by increments of 20, and we're about to hit 150. That's what it looks like to me. So we're going to call it good. Let me go ahead and go grab me a tray to set this on. Tell me that's not one of the best looking tender ones you've ever seen. I'll cut into it here in a second. So there it is. Now let's go ahead and see how she does on the old pork tender one here. So I ain't got one of them little two finger meat knives or meat forks so we'll just use a regular fork here uh, we'll take an end off of it and turn it around oh you can get a good look at it pull it back a little bit so we'll go ahead and come in here and take this end off mm. the juices are just rolling out of this tenderloin right now We'll cut one more off because that's all we're going to have for dinner. So check out this tenderloin right here. Now, let's go ahead and let's see what this thing tastes like. What you think? Mmm. 
Man, that's juicy. <laughs> Tender. There's actually a, heck, there's a little bit of a smoke ring right here, if you look at it. We got a small, about quarter inch smoke ring going around all of it. You can probably see it on there. About quarter inch smoke ring going around it, which is very, very nice. That oak, that hardwood, the neighbor cut up for me that we picked up from the old scrap yard, or not scrap yard, but from the sawmill scrap pile, it's good stuff. So here we are, all plated up. Alyssa went ahead and baked us some baked potatoes in the oven. Now, we got mixed veggies as well, but look at these potatoes. Just so perfectly done, just falling apart. Now, I just wanted to come out here real quick and show you guys, even though I'm in quite a food coma after eating that pork tenderloin. Now, that was probably the best pork tenderloin I've ever had. Let me just tell you that right now. But we got watermelon here. It's not doing as good as the zucchini by any means or these watermelons i need to get out here and weed again i swear i just out here weeded and this stuff growing like a weed so but we got watermelons coming up pretty good those are cantaloupe and we got corn it's been a little windy i don't know i hope that one's gonna recover but the dang thing just blew over we got a little bit of corn coming up. I'm telling you all this grass is growing out here and we got a weed. Come out here and do some more weeding. But hopefully this wind didn't knock down some corn. Now I'd really hope it'd produce because I'd be able to have myself some fresh corn make with the meal and then have some watermelon afterward or some pineapple zucchini bread for dessert. <whistles> Options are endless.